hello everyone and welcome to my youtube channel if today is your first time watching my, my video please don't forget to subscribe just click this red subscription button and you're good to go a lot of my friends who are not nigerians have been asking me about this kidnapper um they call him king ping um uh, he is a very he, you know he he's someone that everybody know him to be a wealthy man but nobody knew the source of his income until he was arrested in abuja that was last month september 24th so the video went viral and people were surprised because this guy has been someone who has been, who lived a very flashy life he showed off money and a lot of he clubbed and did everything and he was even motivating people to go and work go and make money right he was like he called people lazy for not making money but you know don't ever fall for everything you see on the internet you know most of these things are show business all these people they didn't work hard for their money they just come out here to showcase it people work for, hard for their money they don't display this kind of riches on the internet so just go ahead and enjoy a little bit of a documentary of his life so this is where he was living his flashy life where he was spending money and to a point where he was arrested so this is a very interesting document and this will also teach you something to always be contented with the little you have don't always look at people don't think about what people are doing just focus on your hustle one day it will surely pay this is just what you need to understand this is what you need to take home from this video and please don't forget to click the red subscription button and until we see next time i love you guys bye so, and this is the APC, APC man. Next level, next level. You wait. And the good part of it is that this guy is an APC member right if it's that he was um an uh, a labor party member it would have gone all around that it was p2b that was supporting him but i am not saying that it is Atiku that um that is sorry it is tinubu that is sponsoring him but all i'm saying is this if it were to be that he was an l um, lp member it would have all gone around and they would have dragged p2b into it they would have said these are p2b ipop members these are them these are this is what they do and i'm also happy that he's not an Igbo man because if he if he, start, if he happened to be an Igbo man it would be a different case together they would have called him ipop they would have called him everything in the book but i'm just hope happy as i said earlier he's not an Igbo man He's not an AP, um, LP member. He is an APC member. As you could hear him from the video, he said this categorically. He's an um, APC member. So I'm just happy. But unfortunately, he has committed a lot of crime. And I hope justice would be done. I'm sorry I have to mute the video because there is a lot of music there and I don't want to break um YouTube's um copyright claim so this is why I'm trying my best to pause the music that is playing in the background and as I said earlier I'm happy this man is not an Igbo man if you know the history of Igbo people and if you know the stereotype surrounding surrounding Igbo people in Nigeria you will understand what I am saying every crime being committed in Nigeria once it is someone from Igbo land the news will go like haywire the news will go viral that yes it is Igbo people again these people that love money these people that love to commit crime these people that love to do all sort of 
crime, yahoo, yahoo. We do um, killing, rituals, and the rest of it. But when it has to do with someone else who is not an Igbo man, what you will hear is a Nigerian man. So this time around, they don't call it, they don't specify which um, tribe the person is. But once it is an Igbo man, the news will be like an Igbo man, not a Nigerian man. So the stereotype the Igbo people have been facing, it is real. But that's just by the way. So this man is from Bayasa. I'm not saying all Bayasans are like this. No, I've lived in Bayasa. I know Bayasa people. They are loving, peaceful people. Very loving people, I can tell you. I've lived there and I can tell. But this is just to show you what the kind of society we live in, especially in Nigeria. The stereotype that the Igbo people face every day, you know, it is real. And until you're an Igbo person, you won't understand this. So this guy, you know, he le he has been living a flamboyant life. He has um, been a motivational speaker who tells these young ones to go and hustle. If you know what it means in Nigeria to go and hustle. When someone tells you to go and hustle, it simply means that you're just a lazy man. You're just a lazy person, you know. It, it means that it does not it doesn't matter what you're doing but you're just a lazy person it means that you're not a rich person so you need to go and hustle and a lot of our youth have put their hands you know in so many things just to live out this life you know everything they see on social media they try to live it out because of this kind of person they just come online they show off their wealth and most people do not know the source of their well, most people don't know. They just want to follow them and do things. But this is just one of one million, right? This one has been caught. And uh, Nigerian system, he might be free tomorrow. Remember, he's an APC member. They're going to rally around. If you don't know about APC, APC is the ruling party in Nigeria right now. So people who are APC members, a lot of criminals hide under this political party to commit crime. Because as one of them said, it is a well-known politician, which I don't want to mention his name right now. He said, yes, that as long as you're in APC, all your sins are forgiven. Everybody know who I'm talking about, but I'm not going to mention him. You can see him living life. Oh, trust our women. We like money. Anywhere money go. See, we are see our bone straight hair. Eh? Now so give it to them. Give them. Now so mm? now so you know our girls we love money. We don't even care, right? We don't care. We don't care. We don't care. But this is just a big lesson. This is just a big lesson, the big one for that matter. <laughs> You know, when you see these people, you start to question your God. God, why? God, I've been suffering. I've, do, I've been doing everything right. Why have you not answered me? You know, this is it. Don't be envious of your fellow man because you don't know what they are going through. You don't know the, their source of income. So you want to tell us that only two people, you don't join and go kidnap? Yes, sir. You're a liar. <laughs> now this turn, I don't carry me. This face, no, I they see. I mean, no, they lie down for no. two years like this. I don't see. Don't. Me, that come out here. I, I see your face. You they lie down, koro koro. I go go court. Go. You now, you be the first person where I go point hand for court. You they lie down, koro koro for cheer. When they carry me, they butcher me to die. <laughs> Sir, I don't do anything concerning your matter. I don't know. Lie, lie to lie, lie. I they see your face. I don't need to concern your matter, sir. Please, don't forgive me, Abel, sir. Forgive me. My wife just bought seven. Look at, look at, look at, look at. Look at, look at. Look at, look at. Look at, Break a leg. You would have forgiven. <laughs> Are you the look for forgiveness? Forgive me, sir.